enemy, we are led to signs and wonders. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When I became a Christian over two decades ago, the first thing I was taught was the humility that was in Christ. How humble Jesus is and how humble he was. And many people began to quote to me the conduct of Christ and they taught me scriptures like if they slap you on the left, turn your right ears. <laughs> Christianity is a thing that must humble the man practicing it. I heard that. If someone come to you and ask you to loan him money for business, give him all you have. And if you go and ask him for the money and he slap you, just give thanks. But then I began to search the scripture. I found three places where Jesus was not too humble. Listen carefully. Battalions of soldiers came. And when they met him in the Garden of Gethsemane, listen carefully, he said one word bigger than any atomic bomb ever used. Whom seek ye? The Bible said, as soon as they said, Jesus, he said, this is me. When he said, whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus. And he responded, here am I. My Bible said, they all fell. Their faces to the ground. So Jesus was not stupid or an idiot. But the difference between me is so big. If I were the one soldiers came with torches and cutlasses and guns to kill me, and I say, Here am I, and all fell, I'm going to march on the head of everybody. I will begin to sing choruses. My enemies are defeated. Conquer my enemies. I will say, look at you. You came to capture me and now you are on the floor. I will begin to curse and to beat them. But Jesus made the statement. He said, let these men go first. In any danger... You stand God's protection. You. The enemy, though a thousand on your right and ten thousand on your left, they shall not destroy you. According to Psalm 91. Then I read another place where Jesus went to the church. He was not the archbishop of the church. He was not the parish reverend father. And he was not the bishop of the diocese. But when he got to the church and he met them messing up with the church, they were not reading the Bible. They were not preaching the gospel. 
They were not teaching. They were not healing. He was angry. He met them selling and buying. He took one of the goats that was chained, loosed it, took the rope, and dealt mercilessly with the pastors and the elders. That day he was not too humble. He beat all of them, and they began to jump through the window. When they escaped, the Bible said he brought in the blind, the deaf, the dumb. And all who were sick, he formed a new church. He prayed, they were healed, and he said, My father's house shall be called the house of prayer, not the house of selling and buying. That day Jesus was not too humble. All the day, the king of the city sent for him and said, Jesus, I am told that you perform miracles. Come to my palace and perform one. Like many of you who hear that Christians sell food, you rush there every day to eat free. You say, the Lord sent me to eat free. If God is going to send you to go and eat in a place free, he has to tell the person to send for you, not you going by yourself. But when the king said, tell Jesus to come to my palace and perform miracles, Jesus said, tell that fox to shut up. That day he was not too humble. To call the king Fox, F-O-X, Fox, Jesus knew that the king that day was a fox. So he called him his proper name. Then the third time, Peter, the always outspoken man, Peter always said the wrong thing at the wrong time. Every time he would say the right thing at the wrong time. He was always talking, 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 no planning. Pa, 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 pa. Pita, ta, ta, pita, ta, 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 pita. So Jesus said, I will soon die. The third day I will rise again. And when I rise up, I will have poured out my blood for redemption of mankind. Then everyone that come and believe in the work of redemption I'm doing at the cross of Calvary shall be redeemed forever. By the shed blood and by the water and by confession of our sins, humanity can be saved. But I'm going to die first. Peter said, Lord, be it far from you. Then the Bible said, and he began to rebuke the Lord. And Jesus turned to him and said, Peter, Get you behind me, Satan. In these three occasions, the church selling and buying, Peter rebuking him and telling him not to die, the king sending for him to come and perform miracle for concert's sake. You know, if it were me, until I read that place, until I became a real Christian, if it were me that the king called to the palace, I know many pastors here, if Queen Elizabeth sent for them and said, come and perform miracles, they would count it an honor. They don't mind even listening whether it, they are called for disgrace. They would go. But since I read that place that Jesus told the king to shut up fox, I will not go. So, the Jesus I want to talk to you about today and the church that I want to preach about today, wherever you are hearing me, the church I want to talk about is a church with responsibility and dignity. The church is no more a place of mediocrity. A place of 
abuse, a place of inferiority and a place of disgrace. The church is no more a place of who are you. The church is a temple where God is worshipped in spirit and in truth. And the people that go to church, according to the scripture, are supposed to become responsible people. If the church cannot transform you to greater responsibility and productivity and action and life and power, then the church is not doing its job. If since you became a Christian, there's no difference in you. Since you became a Christian, your darkness has not turned to day. There's no regeneration and transformation. If the new birth did change you from what you were to what God wants you to be, then you are not born again yet. Because Christianity is not a thing of shaking. Are you a Christian? Oh, yes. How do you know? I shake when I go to the church. Hallelujah. Praise God. I feel it. Like, Christianity is not a thing you feel. And I love that chorus you sing, but it's more than that. Christianity is birth. B I R T H. To give birth to new life. Feeling can come and go, Christianity comes and stays. Transformation comes. And when you are born again, you don't take sign, look for little plank or an iron rod and write. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. No. The things you do, the words you say, and how you live shows that you are a Christian. Are you hearing me? If you hear me, let me hear you say amen. amen. So, I want to read a very big challenging thing concerning what God wants to do with your life. Now that you are, how many of you are Christian? If you are, if you are really a Christian, stand up. If you are a Christian, raise your hands up. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Come, I'd like to have a picture with Christian. Come here, come to my back. Come here, yes. I love that. I see some Christians here with cigarettes in their hands. Oh, yes. God knew you couldn't hide that. If you are a Christian, raise your two hands up. It's good. It doesn't matter. That's how to start. You will stop it later. Heavenly Father, thank you. I pray for my brothers and sisters. I pray that the words we are about to hear will remain in our lives indelible. Words of truth. Words of power. Words of deliverance. Words of miracle. What's some new bet that we tell us that Jesus has become King of kings and Lord of lords in our lives? The words that will change us, tune us on, tune us upward, lift us up, make us men and women of God in action, preaching the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The message that will no more make us to become defeated, that will no more make us to live in darkness and live in dark hours. The message that is going to bring out men and women who once were in darkness but now come to light. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that everyone that hear me today shall have a change of heart. I pray in Jesus' name and everybody say, Amen. Amen.
Aleluia! Jeremiah, chapter 51. You will know why now I said the things I first mentioned. Jeremiah 51, verse 20. The word of the Lord. First of all, in verse, 5, in verse 1 of chapter 51, the Bible says, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. When God speaks, we are supposed to listen. When I was born again, over two decades ago, in the city that I received Christ as my Lord and personal Savior, which is my city, idolatry was the order of the day. And some few years ago, my city was called the city of blood. Human lives were used for sacrifice. But God spoke to me. God said, now that you have found me as your Lord and Savior, I, God, am going to use you to abolish, to exterminate, to vanquish the power of bloodshed the power of witchcraft, the power of wizardry, the power of sacrifice, the power of idolatry, the power of evil, the power of darkness. I, God, will use you to cancel it. I heard loudly. I heard distinctly. I heard clearly. I heard very, very positively. I heard God say to me, God told me, because I raise you up, darkness will no more in your nation prevail. Because I raise you up, the power of evil shall no more increase, but righteousness shall increase in my time. God told me that. Then God woke me up one night and said to me, Thou, Jeremiah 51, 20, Thou art my battle axe. Thou art my battle axe. And weapons of war. God is a fighter. God is a warrior. God is a destroyer of evil. And God told me, you want call the call I gave you. The call I have brought you into is not going to be the one when you come to church in the morning, you say, Mary, Mother of God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, oh God, our help in ages past, him one. Holy, 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 stand up, stand up for Jesus, the soldiers of the crown. God said to me, no, prepare for battle, prepare for battle, prepare for battle, prepare for battle. Battle against sin, battle against witchcraft, battle against death, battle against disease, battle against sickness, battle against blindness, battle against ignorance, battle against things that are wrong in government, in society, battle, 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 fight. You have become my battle axe. The 
Lord told me, you are not just to come like any other preacher. The Lord told me, don't be like any other preacher. You must be willing to lay down your life and I will pick it up for you. You must be willing to believe that with me, all things are possible. The Lord told me, no evil shall be ever. No man, he gave me promise in Joshua 1, verse 5 to 8. No power shall be able to stand you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. With thee, God said, you must sharpen the battle axe and you become my weapons of war. Australians, Christians, the time of religion has passed. The time of playing church, the time of playing church has passed. The time of gambling has passed. The time of playing has passed. Let's get ready to fight with God. Let's get ready to be used by God. Let's get ready to rise up against sin. You are my battle axe. God did not say, you are my piece of stick. God did not say, I'm serious. God did not say, you are the hoover for the devil to use to clean the carpet. God did not say, you are the dustbin that the devil will heap iniquity upon. God did not tell me that I was going to become the broom that the devil will use to sweep the street. God did not tell me that I was going to become a scripture bow. God told me, thou art my battle axe. Thou art my weapons of war. And God said, with thee, Benson Idahosa, with thee, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. God has given us power. God has given us power. Say power. power. Everybody say power. 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 To destroy, to destroy nations, nations and kingdoms. And kingdoms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You thought you have been saved so that you can sing him one, him two, him three. You thought you were saved so that you can put two dollar offerings in your offering bag. You thought you were saved so that you can say, It is more than that to be born again. When you are born again, your life changes. When you are born again, your language changes. When you are born again, the fire of God will burn in your bones. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. God asked me to tell you, Australian Christian, and believers anywhere in the world, from America, from England, from Africa, from Australia, West Coast, Father Dean, my brothers, from anywhere you come from, from Italy, from Germany, from India, God says, thou art, thou art, thou art my battle axe. Somebody
somebody say amen. amen. God said, with you, I will break down nations that rebel against me. Kingdom that say, who is God? God says, with you, I will break them to pieces. No compromise. No mortgaging of conscience. No selling of your life to the devil. Thou art my battle axe. Sharpen your life to cut down iniquity. Sharpen your life to pull down kingdoms. Sharpen your life to destroy nations that reject God. Make your life available. The next move of the church is no more the move of jacking. It's no more the move of only singing in the spirit and shouting and prophesying. The next move is battle move. How many can say amen? amen. How many of you are ready to fight with God? Amen. How many of you are on the lost side? Oh, you think when you become a Christian, <laughs> take it easy. Oh, yes. Don't be rude. Oh, yes. Don't speak against anybody. Oh, yes. Don't talk about money. Oh, yes. Don't talk of offering. Oh, yes. No! I said no! No! God said and with thee, I will break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee, I will break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee, also, I will break in pieces man and woman who rise against the voice of God. With thee, I will break in pieces old and young systems old system, new system, organizational church without God. God says the newborn believers, the fire flame believers, the men with message of truth and life and Holy Ghost, with thee I will break in pieces, old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. Verse 23, I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock, the pastor that holds you in prison. Some of you have become prisoners in your church. Pastors lose the sheep of God. Pastors set the captive free. Pastors let them serve God. Pastors let them release. Set the prisoners in your church free. If the pastor refuse to set you free, set yourself free. Set yourself free. If the pastor refuse to lose you, be loose and go. Jesus is still in the losing business. He said, go and bring that axe. Where on no man ever sat, the axe was there. The axe was a royal axe. The owner only knew how to chain the axe. He didn't know how to use it. So Jesus said, that is a valuable thing. Go bring him to me. I will ride on it. Many of your lives are chained in your different dead, dogmatic, ecclesiastical, orderless church of no faith and no life. Get out! I said, get out! Get out of prison. Be loose from it. If your pastor is dead, Remember, dead hen cannot hatch fresh eggs. <laughs> Should I go on? Amen. Also, 
Australians, British, American, African, Fijians, if the Son of God shall make you free, you are free indeed. It's a new day. 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 God is going to do something. God is going to do something. God is going to do something with your life. You are no more going to be tissues and toilet roll in the hands of the devil. The devil will no more flush you out of toilets. You are going to become the city of God. I want to pray for all who are sick right now. Before I finish my message. All who are sick, get up. If you are sick, stand up. And I want this recorded. Someone with deaf ear, come out. You receive your healing now. Someone with neck pain, come out and be healed. Someone with neck pain, come out. God is going to do something. With me, God is going to break to pieces every sickness in your body. Climb up, 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 climb up. Who are going to help me catch them? When sickness get out, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, in five seconds, sickness is going to go away. Pain will go away. When I stretch my hand to you, if the Holy Ghost take you from the ground and lay you down, go. Don't resist. Blind eyes will be healed. Deaf ears will be unstopped. Neck, neck paralysis. Stiffness of the neck. Come here, all of you with neck pain. Put your hands and tell me when you are healed, you will know it. Did you hear me? Put that lady down. I'm going to pray for her on the floor. Put her down. I'm going to pray for her there. God started something in her life yesterday. In her soul, there's a worm. Let me do what God asked me to do. You with neck pain, put your hands. I curse. Yes, yes, healing is coming to you. Now, your body has been touched by a warmth of the spirit. Now, I reach my hand to you. Every touch of stiffness in your neck, be loose and be healed in Jesus' name. Be loose and be healed in Jesus' name. Now, your neck is healed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you to remove your hand. Shake your neck. Two of you, shake it. Turn it. Twist it. It's healed. In Jesus' name, it's healed. It's healed in the name of Jesus Christ. It is healed. You are free in Jesus' name. You are loose in Jesus' name. Be free. Come here. Shake it like duck. Properly, like duck. Shake it again. Over. Jump up. Say, I'm healed. I'm healed. Amen. Go. Amen. In Jesus' name. Rise and be healed. Come here. Come here. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. Be healed. Be set free. Go in peace. You are healed in Jesus' name. 
Now run. Down the aisle. Run down. Run. Run. Yes, start to run. Go. Go back. Amen. Go. You are set free. I trouble. I trouble. All of you with eye problem, deafness, come closer. Deaf ears, come closer. Blind eyes, come closer. In Jesus' name, I rebuke sickness, come out. In Jesus' name, come out, be healed. In Jesus' name, be loosed. In the name of Jesus, every foul blending spirit, Come out! You, Receive your sight. What's your trouble? Deaf ears. You foul. Deaf spirit. I curse you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Whom I serve. Whose I am. Here in Jesus' name. Here in Jesus' name. Be healed. Go heal. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. Are you ready to be healed? I have no time for fun. Are you ready to be healed? Raise your hand. What do you want to be healed from? Eyes. Take your glasses off. In Jesus' name, you blindness spirit, you foul demon of blindness, come out of her. Let her go. Heal. In Jesus' name. Eye trouble, ear trouble. I speak to you here in Jesus' name. Here in Jesus' name. It's loose. Turn your back to me. Say what I say. Jesus. Jesus. I'm healed. Jesus. I'm free. Jesus, I can hear. Now, I hear. I hear. Now, I can hear. I can hear. Go. Place, place your hands in where you have your sickness. You will hear. You are hearing. You are hearing. Pick these things up. They were your own. Your ears are open. And now you can hear. Tell them your name. What's your name? Alan. Alan. Born deaf. Now you can hear. Born deaf. Now he can hear. Born deaf. Now he can hear. Hallelujah, Alan. Hallelujah. Oh, la la la, mama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Born deaf. Heal. Mother is crying. Born deaf. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Alan, go free. Go and begin to use your ears. Give God a hand, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Put your hands. Put your hand in your head. In your eyes, in your mouth, in your neck, wherever you have problem. When I stretch my hand to you, if the Holy Ghost flat you down, you are down. But you get up, heal. Put your hand there. Come, I want to lay hand on you. Come, I want to lay hand on you. Shola Mahaba, Porobo Sikalaba, Maya Baha, Poromaha, Pikayala, Yimbala Bahaba, Sorobo. Yekila mama, in Jiba Mahaya Moho, come out and enter no more. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There's a power going through your body now. 
is taking you down. Go. In Jesus' name, be healed. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand there. Whatever happened to you is between you and the Holy Ghost. Anywhere. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Headache. Earache. Neck. Chest. Throat. Mouth. Nose. Eye trouble. Stomach. Waist. Legs. Hands. Satan, I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Come out. Hallelujah. Come out. Come out. Hallelujah. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. I set you free. 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 In Jesus' name, you are free. Young boy, it's time for you to be healed. Go. It's time for you to be healed. Go. In Jesus' name, go. Remove your hand. Jump up. Give him glory. You are healed. Jump up. Amen. 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 What was wrong with you? It's open. Go. What you couldn't do before, go and do it. According to the power of God that walketh in me and through me, you are free. Turn back to me. Walk back. Heal. Everybody give God a hand. Go. 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 I touch your head in Jesus' name. I touch your life with the healing power of God. Satan cannot stand it. It can stand it. You are healed. Go free. In Jesus' name. Cancer of the bone. Satan, I lose your hand from this body. In Jesus' name, cancer of the bone, come out of her now. Today, she's healed. In Jesus' name. Let her go. Freely. Go. She's healed. Everybody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With thee, also, says the Lord, I will break in pieces the shepherd and the flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husband man and his yoke oxen. Thank you, Lord. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. Christianity is a divine element against the power of darkness. The captain of the Lord of hosts will destroy the captains of infidels. The power of darkness, disease and pain, go in Jesus' name. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldean all their evil that they have done in Zion, in your sight, says the Lord. Behold, I am against thee O oh, destroying mountain, the power that was destroying before, God is now going to destroy it. Did you hear me? I think you should give God a hand for this. Amen. 
Now, I want to make another call that I make once a year. How many want to become battle axe in God's hand? All of you want to become battle axe. Come and climb here. All who want to be used by God to destroy darkness, sickness, disease, pain, aches, setback, come here. Climb up. Climb up. If you're up, come down. Don't be where you were before. Just move from wherever you were. You want to become the Lord's battle axe? If you're at the back, move forward. If you are forward, climb up. As many as want to receive healing ministry, as many as want to receive power to heal the sick, Amen. you can climb to where the choir where all of you who are coming now. I am going to put power in your hands. Australia, the devil is in trouble. Amen. The devil is in trouble. Amen. Big army. A big army of men and women of faith have come out of this conference. Your money will no more be your money. It's going to be the lost money. Your time will no more be your time. It's going to be the lost time. Your day will no more be your days. It's going to be the lost day. For this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. If there's no room for you up, just line up here. All of you who are just coming. It's the same thing. I will pray here. I will pray here. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a day in Australia. Amen. The dawning of a new day. Amen. The army of the Lord that will fight iniquity. The army of the Lord that will fight ungodliness. The army of the Lord that will fight unbelief. How many will become battle acts in God's name? Raise your two hands up. Father, according to your word, that lie not, according to your word, by which you created the world, I stretch my hand to you here. I point the word to you. Thus it is written. By the word, he created the universe. By his word, I proclaim to the land of Australia, power in your hands. These hands you raise shall become healing power. These hands you raise shall become the hands of deliverance. No evil shall stand you as a child of light. Amen. 